First, can you talk just a little bit about um, this investment, this grant, um, and kind of what you've toured here today and what this is going to mean for, for your operations here? Yeah. You want me to take that? I'm so, give that to you. Sure. So, so this investment is really, you know, both a recognition of Iowa's past success in space flight and space hardware instrumentation, as well as uh, thinking about the future, right, of the, the continued uh, excellence in terms of student training, but also, you know, instrumentation. Um, so this, this grant and this award actually gets us to the point that we can make substantial investments, capital investments, in making sure that we, when NASA comes, you know, asking for particular instruments or a particular science case that Iowa can answer in the form of building hardware. Yeah, so it helps us further NASA's mission, uh, and the University of Iowa mm -hmm. is a, a part, a large part of that, uh, and then it also helps in STEM education, so what they're doing is training other young individuals in, um, you know, uh, math, science, technology, innovation. Yep. Uh, so utilizing all of those assets um, and then developing, you know, future scientists and having an avenue for them to go out of the theoretical into the practical. Yeah, absolutely. And I heard you ask a question about um, whether or not there's commercial applications, whether or not this could benefit um, Iowa employers and manufacturers in the state. The response to that? Um, yes, it can. Uh, so part is, uh, you know, even people here at the University of Iowa don't know that the program exists, uh, that they're doing work for NASA, that, you know, there is um, Iowa-made equipment, uh, that the University of Iowa-made equipment that is, you know, going into space with NASA. So part of this is the realization and acknowledgement that uh, the program exists, that it's here, that we have this tremendous workforce of scientists, researchers, uh, PhDs that are working on this type of equipment. Um, so there's that component of it, but you also have to recognize that NASA is not the only individuals yes. that are in space. Yeah. And so there's potential that this could be, you know, could go beyond uh, relationships with NASA. Absolutely. And, to, and to, to really emphasize the Congresswoman's point, right, this is in it, this is lets us essentially, you know, op advertise this opportunity uh, as well as you know, partner with commercial uh, commercial aerospace and advanced manufacturing. So, I mean, advanced manufacturing is a major component of the state economy and some an area that we'd like to grow. Those businesses are going to need STEM-educated individuals coming out of uh, places like you know the University of Iowa to be able to essentially expand and grow their workforce and do the work that they need to do. And the other thing is that you know research, it, it's not static. And it's no. not insular. No. So as they're working here in physics and astronomy, uh, there are other engineers, other software um, that interfaces. And so this could have applications beyond what they're yeah. you know, uh, doing research on. We saw that with DARPA.